What's up, flamethrowers? It's me, Flame the Dragon Hog here, and welcome to episode 26 of Ask the Sonic Crew. That is right, ladies and gentlemen, we're doing pretty good with this. <laughs> anyway, for today's video, we are asking a new we are asking a new team some questions. That is right, ladies and gentlemen, we got a new team on the block. And let me introduce everybody. First up, we have the first up, we have the team leader. She is she was once part of the Echidna tribe. She died she died just to protect um chaos and keep him in balance but now she's brought back to life to help us defeat eggman to make sure that eggman to make sure that eggman's plans don't cause catastrophic stuff again so everybody please say hello to the team leader to call the echidna hello everybody this is to call the echidna here it's a very good pleasure to meet you all yep and it's a very and it's very nice to have you here on the channel again to call. It has been a long time. Indeed it has. Yeah, I know. But anyway, next up we have next up we have the sorry, we have the speed hero of t of this team, otherwise known as Team Dream. Anyway, we have the speed hero here. She died up on the Space Colony arc trying to protect her friend, and now she's brought back to life, thanks to me. <laughs> she was once a human, but she's now reincarnated as a hedgehog. So everybody, please say hello to Maria Robotnik the Hedgehog. Hello everybody, this is Maria Robotnik. It's very nice to see you again, Flame. How's your wings? Um, they're doing okay. A little bit crystallized, if you know what I mean. <laughs> oh, you are so funny. Yeah, I know. <laughs> anyway, and last but not least, we have the flying hero of our little team. Well, of their little team. Um, she died protecting her friends from an e from from evil plant monsters up in space. And, let's just say, she was brought back to life to not only help us, but to make a little two-tailed fox happy. <laughs> and, it's, and it is Cosmo the Cedarin. So go ahead, Cosmo, say hi. Why, hello everybody. This is Cosmo the Cedarin here. And it's very nice to see you all again. Yep, it's very nice to see you again, Cosmo. <laughs> Anyway, let's get these questions started. Now, now for picking a co- Now, before I get started, um, picking a co-host was really, really hard for me. So, um, I guess one person actually volunteered to be a co-host to not only help me read out the questions, but to also keep an eye on me for no apparent reason. It is Shadow the Hedgehog. So, go ahead, Shadow, say what's up. Greetings, mortals. I am Shadow, the ultimate life form. And yes, I have volunteered to be the co-host for this show. To not only keep an eye on Maria, but to keep an eye on you, Dragon Hog. Are you still going on about what I said about that Smasher Pass video? Yes. I mean, hello. I will never forget it. Anything that involves Maria... You know I'll never forget. Well, you know it was all hypothetical. Come on, you know things in a Smash or Pass video people don't really mean. I mean, sure, some people do mean it, but not me. Because think about it, I'm married. And as beautiful and pretty as Maria is, I'm taken, okay? I'm just saying, as beautiful and pretty as Maria is, um, she's... And no, don't take this into, don't take this personally, Maria, but you're not my type. I understand. Plus, not to mention, you're my very good friend. Yeah. Anyway, yes, Shadow here is going to be helping me ask questions to the team. Okay, so anyway, let's ask the first question. Oh, and it's a group question right off the bat. Okay, so 
everybody's been wondering, guys. So everybody's been wondering, girls. When you girls died, did you guys meet in the afterlife? Like, did you guys meet in heaven? Um, to call, you can go first since you died first out of both of these two. Oh, well, um, you see, yes, we did kind of meet each other, and then we did get reincarnated one by one. It was pretty intense. Yes, I have to agree, it was pretty nice up there, but it's very nice to be back down here on Earth with all my friends, and of course, <laughs> yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong, I did die to protect my friends, and, you know, I really missed Tails. So, yes, I was very glad to be reincarnated. Uh, yes, I was very glad to be brought back to life. Heck, if it wasn't for you, Flame, we would have still been up in heaven. Yeah, I know, and I'm very, very glad that I can help. Yes, I am very, very glad I can help. I mean, with T'Call, the reason why I brought her back was because I'm pretty sure she could help Knuckles keep track of the Master Emerald more. I mean, because think about it like this, T'Call, uh, Knuckles has been losing that Master Emerald over and over again. Oh yes, I definitely know about that. Don't forget, I am part of the Master Emerald, just a little bit. And even in heaven, I'm still connected to the Master Emerald. Okay, and to and as for you, Maria, I brought you back so that way Shadow could, you know, stop being like, Maria, Maria, and all that other stuff. Watch it, Dragon Hog. I think it was, I think it was pretty nice of him. I mean, he knew how you felt about me, so he brought me back just to make you feel better, Shadow. Yet you want to, yet you want to try and destroy him just because of a silly game. Well, to be honest, I don't want anything to happen to you, Maria. And nothing will happen to me. You're forgetting, up on the Space Colony Arc, I could have took care of myself. Even though I don't, even though I did have that disease. But look at me now, I don't have the disease anymore. Thanks to Flame bringing me back. Yeah, plus with my medicines, I'm able to cure your disease, even though your grandfather, even though your grandfather didn't come up with a cure, and since your disease didn't have a cure, um, I actually decided to make a cure, so I cured you, and you're doing okay now. Yes, I am. So, Shadow, you should at least be grateful to Flame. I mean, if it wasn't for him bringing me back and curing my disease... I would have still been dead. Uh, I guess you do have a point. Flame, can you ever forgive me for my ignorance? Um, I don't know. I'll think about it. Anyway, as for Cosmo, the reason I brought her back was because she was a really perfect asset to us. I mean, she controlled plants. She had, like, this amazing energy... And not to mention, she kind of kept our little two-tailed fox buddy, um, occupied. <laughs> yes, I really did miss Tails, and I know how much he loved me after when I died. I mean, we told each other that we loved each other. Yeah, I know, and let's just say if it wasn't for that plant back there, you wouldn't be here today. Yes, I know, and I really am grateful. <laughs> yeah. Well, anyway, that was a long group question. Okay, so this question here is for to call. So, um, to call, what did you and Chaos do in the afterlife? Like, I know you two are best friends, but what do you guys like to do since he's made out of water? Oh, well, sometimes me and Chaos, we just like, you know, hanging out and keeping an eye on the Master Emerald when Knuckles isn't around. Because most of the time, Knuckles, he's always, you know, out taking care of business and, you know, keeping track of Eggman and all that other stuff. So, yeah, that's what I like doing. I definitely like keeping an eye on the Master Emerald. Well, okay. Um, Shadow, go ahead and read the next question. Very well, then. This question here is for Maria. 
This question here is for Maria. So, Maria, um, uh, okay, so this question here is very interesting. Um, I understand that you and Shadow were up on the Space Colony arc, and I know that you're a hedgehog now, but tell me something. Do you miss being a human? Oh, um, to be honest, no, I really don't miss being a human. Because, think about it like this, being human, I had so many problems. I mean, I was tall and lengthy, and I did look kind of beautiful, but the only problem was, I'm an easy target. I mean, how else do you think the gun soldier got me when I was so human? And, well, to be honest, I couldn't give Shadow hugs that he loved so much. I was too tall. Uh, Maria, did you really have to tell everybody that? Well, I'm being serious. What's the matter, Shadow? Afraid to admit feelings? You're this close to getting a chaos spear in the face, Dragon Hog. Shadow? <sighs> Fine. Anyway, Maria, again, don't you miss being a human? No, I said no, I don't miss being a human. Plus, not to mention, now that I'm a hedgehog, I am pretty speedy. I mean, you are teaching me how to control my speed. Yes, yes I am. And you're doing pretty well at it, too. Okay, well, there you go. Thanks for answering that question, Maria. Okay, so this question here is for Cosmo. So, um, Cosmo, do you remember... Um... So, Cosmo, I understand that you were actually a spy for the Menorex way back in the day. But the big question is, would you ever consider joining the Menorex if you had a choice? Absolutely not. I would never join those idiots. I would never join those fools. I mean, you saw what they did to planets. Yeah, I know. They destroyed them by taking the planet eggs and killing off life. As they know it, yikes. I mean, I hate the Menorex. I'm just glad they're all gone. Ugh. Excuse me, ladies and gentlemen. I'm just a little bit sleepy. I mean, it is late and all, but yeah. Anyway, um... Anyway, yeah. So, Cosmo, you wouldn't... You wouldn't be with the Menorex? Of course not. I mean, they only used me to be a spy. They used my ears, they used my eyes and everything. I really, really hated it. Plus, not to mention, they put that thing in my brain, and it's still there, but it's disabled. Okay, good. Because, uh, because I'm not really good at, you know, brain surgery. Well, I really don't want anything to be digging in my brain. Plus, not to mention, I don't think Tails would appreciate that either. Yeah, I don't think Tails would appreciate me digging around in your brain. <laughs> yeah, but anyway, um, yeah, so this next question here is a group question again. So, ladies, oh, well, this is a relationship question. So, ladies, who would you want to be with? Well, everybody knows who I'm with. I'm with Tails. I'm with Tails. I mean, he's my husband. And we really do love each other very, very much. Even even when we were younger. We really did love each other very, very much. And sure, back in the day, and sure, um, months ago, I did kind of have that, you know, false pregnancy thing. Everybody thought I was getting pregnant, but no. But, um, yeah, maybe one day me and Tails would have kids. But the thing is, I'm a little bit nervous. Yeah, I'm a little bit nervous about having kids, so... Yeah, I really... I don't think I'm ready for kids yet. And I don't think Tails is ready for kids yet, either. Um, okay. Um, okay. Maria, what about you? Who would you want to be with? Um, can I skip this? Because I really don't want to say who it is in front of Shadow. I'm sure Shadow would behave himself. Right, Shadow? Yes. Yes, that's right. So, go ahead, Maria. 
I promise I won't fly off the handle. Well, okay. The person I would like to be with is you, Flame. Yep, that's it. I knew it. Flying off the handle. Shadow, you better not fly off the handle inside my house. Plus, you promised me. <sighs> Very well. Go ahead. Explain why you want to be with him. Well, look at him. He's handsome, kind, and sweet. And plus, not to mention, if it wasn't for... And plus, not to mention, think about all the things he's done for me. I mean, he treats me like a little sister. Yeah, I do do that sometimes. Even though I do have, like, a whole mess of sisters. <laughs> and brothers. But, Maria, think about it like this. I mean... I don't know, but like I said before, you're not my type or anything. I mean, you are beautiful and cute. It's just that we can't be together because of two reasons. One, I'm married, and two, because of you-know-who sitting over here. I can hear you, you know, you idiot. Shadow! <sighs> Fine. Anyway, I understand. But if you weren't married, would you go with me? Um, if... I don't know. I honestly don't know. I honestly do not know. But anyway, yeah, so anyway, to call, who would you be with if you weren't with Knuckles? You know, um, I guess I would rather be with me, um, to be honest, I guess I would be a loner. I'm not really good with boys. Knuckles, he was the very first boy that ever, you know, it was nice to me. So, yeah, I would rather be a loner. Okay, well, anyway. Okay, so thanks for that question. Okay, anyway, uh, this question here is for you to call. Oh my gosh, not this question. Um, to call, everybody's been wanting to know, throughout my channel, you and Knuckles have been dating, but in real life, aren't you guys ancestors? So basically, Knuckles and you are related to each other. So the big question is, why the world are you dating him? Well, to be honest, guys, yes, on Flame's channel, we do date. But, think about it like this. There's multiple different versions of us out there. This is, this is Flame's version of us. So, yeah, this is the Flame version of me. And then there's the other version, which you guys all know. That's the version you guys are talking about. Because you see, here on Flame's channel, we can do whatever we want. Just not like, you know, that's just weird. But anyway, yes, I am dating Knuckles. He's just very nice and sweet and strong. I mean, and plus not to mention, we both care for the Master Emerald very much. Yeah, you know, some people have been asking that. Why do people ship you and Knuckles together? I mean, aren't you two related? And plus, not to mention, you two are both echidnas. I can see that. But, you know, I can see why people will seem to ship you two. Heck, I see lots of people ship you with Shadow. Wait a minute, what? People ship me with that echidna? Yep, people seem to ship you and to call a lot. Um, I think maybe it's because you two both have chaos energy, and you guys both have troubled pasts. I mean, she basically died just trying to get her tribe to listen to her, and you lost a friend. So basically, yeah. Anyway, anyway, um, this question here is for, huh, this question here is for Cosmo. So, Cosmo... Um, I got so Cosmo. Um, how's your training going with Kami Masubi? Oh, it's going great. I mean, she's teaching me a whole bunch of things, and I can't help thinking that Kami, she might be, um, my relative or an ancestor of mine. You know, you two do kind of look the same a little bit, except she has thorns rolling down her face. And she's a whole lot more skinnier and paler than you. 
yes, I know that, but I'm just saying she might be a relative of mine, or, you know, a, um, or, you know, she might be an ancestor. Maybe, who knows? I might have to ask her next time she comes on. But anyway, as for your training, what are you doing? Well, um, well, um, she is teaching me how to draw energy from the sun, and she's also teaching me how to move the grass, move vines, and sticks, leaves, and all sorts of other things. It's very cool. Okay, well, as long as she's treating you right, I mean, you, we are dealing with the goddess of plants here. <laughs> anyway, yeah. Okay, so this question here is for, um, Maria. So, Maria... If you were shipped with somebody, who would you want to be shipped with? Oh, God, not another one of these questions. Anyway, who would you want to be shipped with, Maria? Because I know lots of people seem to ship you with, um, Shadow a lot. Guys, yes, and I'm getting... Anyway, before you answer, Maria, I just gotta say, why do people seem to ship me and Maria all the time? I mean, don't get me wrong. We are good friends. I mean, don't get me wrong, we are good friends and all. Plus, not to mention, we did grow up together. But the thing is, guys, we are just friends. Nothing more, okay? Nothing more. Anyway, go ahead and continue, Maria. Yes, thank you, Shadow. Um, if I was shipped with somebody, if I was shipped with somebody, I guess I would have to say, um... Like I said before, I guess I would rather be shipped with Flame, because he is very nice and sweet, and even though he barely knows me, he's still a very nice guy, and I do like nice guys. I mean, most of the guys I grew up with, um, mainly want to do tests and run experiments on me, only because they, you know, wanted to find a cure for me, but as for me, I just wanted to sit back and play. With my good friend Shadow before I, you know, take the old dirt nap. Yeah, I know, because didn't you say that that disease that you had, you could have, you know, it died anyway, besides getting shot? Yes, that's true. I really didn't like having that disease, but since there was no cure or anything, I just had to live with it. Plus, not to mention, I had Shadow here to, you know look after me, keep me company, and, you know. Yeah. Anyway, group, anyway, Shadow, um, sorry I've been taking most of the spotlight, but you can go ahead and read the next question. Alright then, this is a group question here. Um, huh, this is, this one's very, very interesting. How do you feel about the boom counterparts of your, you know, friends? So, basically, to call, how do you feel about Boom Knuckles, um, Cosmo, how do you feel about Boom Tails, and Maria, how do you feel about Boom Shadow? Oh, boy. So, ladies, how do you feel about your, um, how do you feel about the Boom counterparts of your friends? Um, to call, you start. How do you feel about Boom Knuckles? Um, well, he is very cool, but the one thing I don't like about him is... He, the one thing I don't like about him is he is super dumb. I mean, hello, think about it. I mean, he literally, I mean, think about it. He literally works more on his brawn than his brains. And what the heck is up with those muscles of his? He looks like he's been taking steroids and skip leg day. Yeah, don't get me wrong. The boom counterpart versions of us are pretty weird. Anyway, uh, Maria, how do you feel about Boom Shadow? Well, to be honest, I really don't like him. I really don't. Even though he does look a lot like modern Shadow here, I really, really don't like him because of his personality. I mean, he's super evil and mean. I mean, it's like he, t it's like he followed the, you know, evil path of Shadow the Hedgehog, his video game. Yeah, <laughs> Anyway, don't get me wrong, Boom Shadow, he is a little bit evil. Especially the line that he said. 
I mean, I mean, basically, he said, Your craftsmanship brings shame to all hedgehog kind. I mean, what the heck is that? To be honest, my boom self is pretty weird. Yeah, I know, Shadow. Ugh. But anyway, last but not least, Cosmo, how do you feel about Boomtails? Oh, well, he's still pretty much the same. He's still pretty much the same. I still like him. Um, the only thing is, is unlike my Tails, he's a bit more of a player. I mean, sure, he did kind of goof up all those other times trying to impress a girl. But, yeah... It's just that he's getting a whole lot more ladies than, you know, my version of Tails. Are you kidding me? Tails practically has a whole bunch of girls chasing after him. Well, including you. I mean, there was you, um, Cream, there's Zoe, there's Fiona Fox. So basically what I'm saying is, he had all sorts of different girls chasing after him. Um, besides you, Cosmo. Well, don't get me wrong. I mean, Tails, he may be young, but he was, he is very, very lovable. Just like Sonic. Yeah, I know. Sonic, he is a bit lovable. I mean, he practically gets shipped with every single girl in his series. I mean, he even got shipped with you, f he even got shipped with you three. Wait a minute, What? I'm shipped with Sonic? Yeah, uh, Maria, you are. And same thing with you, call. I don't know why, but there's a lot of things you guys don't have in common. Like, for example, um, call you and Sonic, you do kind of possess chaos energy. But, um, Sonic, he's mainly all about speed. You're all about the chaos energy, right? Yes. And as for you, Maria, um... I think the reason why people shipped you with Murray, I think people seem to ship you with Sonic just to make Shadow, um, you know, jealous. I mean, he is, I mean, don't get me wrong, Sonic, he is a nice guy and all, but I doubt if he would ever, you know, go out with you or something, I don't know. And as for you, Cosmo, I'm pretty sure people shipped you and, you and Sonic for, you know, um... I don't know. I honestly don't know. I really don't know. But people seem to ship you in Tails a whole lot. Anyway, um, yeah, that was actually a long question. Um, Maria, thank you for answering that, because this question was mainly for you. But anyway, um, but anyway, um, this question here is for to call. Oh boy, this one's very interesting. So, um, to call. In Sonic, Ed so to call real quick, how do you feel about your little running character in the game Sonic Forces Speed Battle? How do you feel about it? Oh, it was great. I'm really glad that people remembered me because, you know, I really thought I was like one of those characters that shows up mainly in the games but mainly forgotten. Because, think about it like this, I'm not really one of the main canon characters. Because, what are the main canon? Because the main canon characters are mainly like, you know, Sonic, Tails, Knuckles, Amy, Shadow, Rouge, you know. Yeah, I do know. But, it just, I'm just so glad that I'm back. You know, I really am glad. Yeah, and plus, not to mention, I would rather, you know, I would want to see Cosmo in that game. Same thing with lots of other characters, too. I mean, don't get me wrong, Whisper and Tangle, they were also, they were also remembered because people seem to don't remember the IDW comics at all. Because those are the comics where, you know, because you know where Tangle and Whisper were in. They were in the uh, IDW comics. And people don't seem to, you know, read those things anymore. So people mind, so people kind of forgotten about them. So, at least the people of the game actually, you know, were happy enough to, they were mainly, um, you know, glad enough to put them inside the game so that way people can remember them. But it would be kind of nice to see you inside that game, Cosmo. Yes, I guess it would be. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, this, anyway, this is going to be the last question for today. 
because, you know, it is late and I really, really want to go to bed. It's a group question. So, ladies, um, this question here is for you. Um, during the events of Sonic Forces, I understand you guys were probably, you know, ugh, dead. But if you guys were in Sonic Forces, what would your jobs probably be um, to call? What about you? Well, during the events of Sonic Forces, yes, I did see what happened. Thanks a lot, Eggman, for creating Infinite. Um, if I had to pick, I guess I would have to say, make sure Angel Island is safe. At least Knuckles did tell me that, you know, Angel Island was safe. And at least the Master Emerald was intact. So, yeah, I guess I would make sure everything is safe. And so that way we don't have to deal with perfect chaos. <laughs> yeah, plus not to mention those fake chaoses that Eggman and Infinite made, I really didn't like them. They were so creepy looking. Even though they did kind of, even though they easily resembled chaos. Anyway, um anyway, um Maria, what who would you what would your job be during the events of Sonic Forces? Oh, well, my job would definitely be, you know, fighting in combat. Because, you know, I would rather fight alongside my good friend Shadow. As will I. I would definitely want to fight by my fr by Tails. Because, you know, I really do care about Tails a lot. And I really want to make sure he got through that war fast. And safe. Yes, the same with Shadow. Plus, not to mention, um... Plus, not to mention the shadow clones that Infinite and Sonic and because you know the clones that Infinite and Eggman made of Shadow, I really didn't like them. Plus, not to mention I can easily tell the difference between the real Shadow and the clone Shadows. I can definitely tell the difference. Oh, really? How? Well, there's two ways I know the difference. One, there's actually a glare in the real Shadow's eyes, if you look closely, and the clones don't have that. But the main thing that I always follow is Shadow has a kind heart. He's sensitive, kind, friendly, and he absolutely loves his friends. Well, you know, when he wants to. Yeah, when he wants to. Okay, Maria, now you're really making me blush a little bit. Okay, well, anyway, guys, we reached the end of yet another Ask the Sonic Crew. We do apologize if your question did not get read out. So, you can always try again next time. So, if you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like and comment down below. And also, and also be sure to um, like, subscribe, and do whatever you can to make this video. And do whatever you can to make this channel really pop. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying out some new material. Eh, don't judge me. But anyway, I do like to thank... I do like to thank the new form... The new form, the team... Team Dream for coming on to the channel. Thank you, Takal. Thank you, Cosmo. And thank you, Maria. Oh, no problem. Yeah, no problem. No problem. Okay, well, thank you, ladies. And I'm pretty sure your gentlemen callers are waiting for you. Because to call, I just got a text message from my... I just got a text message from Knuckles. He says that he's ready for his Knuckles massage. That's weird. Oh, um... <laughs> yeah, sometimes I massage his Knuckles. But anyway, bye. Okay. And as for you, Cosmo, um... Tails, he's worried about you as well. Oh, I better get going. Bye. Bye. Okay, and you two can chill out if you guys want to. Oh, can we, Shadow? I really do want to do some maintenance on Flame's arms to make, I mean, Flame's le Flame's wings to, you know, make sure everything they're okay. Hmm, very well. Anyway, if you need me, I'll be back at Gun Headquarters. Don't do anything stupid, Dragon Hog. Dude, what the world? Anyway, this is... Anyway, thanks for doing this. Anyway, thanks for helping me, Maria. No problem. That's what friends are for. Okay. Well, anyway, this is Flame the Dragon Hog. 
and Maria Robotnik the Hedgehog. Signing out for now. Later, flamethrowers. Goodbye, everyone.